It's time to spread the poopy. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy the video today. We're gonna be spreading out all the manure on the pasture over across the farm with Big T and the Winfield Drag Harrow. I ain't afraid of work. I ain't afraid of play. I ain't afraid to get the job done and do it my own damn way. I ain't afraid of life. Times like this. If you mess with my freedom, I'll tell you just what you can kiss. Contact. <laughs> Baby, she likes it when it's warm outside. All right, good morning everybody and welcome back to the Stony Ridge Farm. This is Big T, the TYM T1104 tractor, 110 horsepower, monster of a machine for our job today. We put the mower away, the Woods Batwing mower. We've unhooked it. I'll take you on over here and show you. We've unhooked the Woods Batwing and basically that entails jacking this critter up. It's falling over just a little bit. Let me just raise it up. Go. Gravel's a little bit soft. It's mushy outside. So we've disconnected the PTO shaft and the tow shaft and all of the hydraulic lines. There are one, two, three, four hydraulic setups on the back of this tractor. It's a monster. This is the Woods Batwing BW 15.5, and we are completely done with this. You will see that I've got some work to do. That blade needs to be sharpened for sure. We're gonna do some awesome stuff with this machine. And you can see we've mired up a little bit here in the gravel, something I did not expect. That's the Fox Body Mustang. Stay tuned for future videos on that. That is the Rustang. <laughs> so uh, not only do we have a little bit of an affinity for farm content, but I like old hot rods and junk. I like working on junk. So. What we've got to hook up to is right over here, and I'll show you. This is from Wingfield American Harrow, the Bat Wing Drag Harrow. This is the tool that we use in spring, winter, and fall to spread out manure. So this is a bat wing model. In other words, it folds all the way out. I do believe it's around 18 feet wide totally. I'll post a link down the video description to this critter to tell you exactly all the specs you'd like to have. This works awesome with that big TYM tractor. It takes a lot of machine to get this thing going. So what we're gonna do is drag our pastures today. It's a little bit wet out, it's a little bit soft, but that's okay. We're gonna see what kind of results we get. There's two hydraulic cylinders, one there and one there, and that pushes and or pulls the wing. This raises and lowers very, very simply. And all we gotta do to prep for our hookup is pull our pins out, just like so, and, oh, and drop them in the ground and lose them. <laughs> and back our tractor up basically here and get her all hooked up. This is a three-point drag harrow versus a standard drag harrow that might be more of a pain in the butt uh, to hook up behind an ATV. We do have a standard drag harrow that's a four-footer over there, but to accomplish the task we're gonna do today, we need the big daddy. All right, she's ready to go. These two hydraulic hookups basically hook right up uh, to the rear of the tractor. We'll be ready to get her done. This is a hydraulic top link. We have to extend that enough for it to reach out here and grab the drag harrow and pull it that way so that we can get that pan hooked up.
got a warning, our depth fluid is low. This tractor is really cool. It has three levers right here. Each lever controls a hydraulic system on the back of the tractor. The blue lever is what's gonna control our up and down uh, for the back of the tractor, as well as this little knob right here controls the height of our three point. And the other two levers control the other two hydraulic ports right there. And we're just using one of those hydraulic ports. When I get done dragging the pastures, this thing makes an awesome driveway drag. So I had a tractor trailer come up here just the other day, and we'll drag the lot up there by the mega shop, and we'll drag my driveway. It just flattens and smooths out the driveway really, really nicely. So that's just part of what will happen. Um, but right now, you can see it's covered in grass where it's been sitting. I need to do a better job of grass management in my equipment yard. So we're zipping across the farm right now. I gotta stop by the shop and top off the def fluid. This tractor has 177 hours on it, and this is the first time I've ever had to put def fluid in the tractor, which is really saying something, guys. It's not that inconvenient. It might be a bit of a pain in the butt to think about, but it's not that inconvenient, super easy. You cannot store def fluid in your shop for a very long time and you need to run a tractor that requires def fluid. Letting that tractor sit can damage the system. You also need to vary the RPMs on that machine too. You need to run the snot out of it basically is what TYM told me. Run this machine. Idle down. Neutral. Brake. I don't want to get this stuff on my hands at all. Whenever I use it, I wash my hands really good afterwards. You don't have to have an advanced thought process when it comes to having a large tractor like this that has this def fluid, diesel exhaust fluid, but you do need to think about it, okay? That's why I say varying the RPMs. Don't let this tractor sit and idle like your old 1976 uh, International Harvester. You can't just let this tractor sit and idle. Old timers are used to letting their diesel engines run, run, and run some more, and we don't do that with a depth tractor. So we're up here with the tractor and the Winfield Drag Harrow, and we are in the midst of manure nirvana, covered pasture. Basically, there's a manure pad every three to five feet out here on this pasture, and this is where we've been rolling hay out for the cows. You'll see from the drone footage that there are hay bales that look like they're in a swirly pattern out here on the land. That's all the spots that were bare land, okay? Now, it's a little bit wet. It's a little bit soft. The tractor will be in four-wheel drive for this project, and I've got to take up some of the fencing in order to make this easier. So we run poly wire, poly electric wire, which is this right here, with the step-in post and you'll see the white step-in post in the drone footage. I've got to take this loose, take up the post in two or three areas so that we have a wider, more vast expanse that I can zip around. If I did it in little tight areas like this little field and then that little field, they're separated into about one acre fields and basically all I'd be doing is going around and around and around. That's not the goal here. We want to move, we want to move manure and we want to use this harrow to its fullest extent and burn the least amount of fuel.
as I'm bouncing around the tractor here, I want you to understand there's a lot of thought process going on in my head. I'm working levers right here. I'm bringing the harrow up and down because when you go down in a dip, common sense tells you as the rear of the tractor dips down, the back of the harrow will dip down and you can bend that harrow. So you've got to really pay attention. The goal is basically to swirl around the manure and that's it. So we're going to cross this way, we're going to cross that way, and the more we turn around in the pasture in a circular motion, the more this manure gets spread out. And the goal is to take a manure pad that might be four or five inches high and take it down to about a quarter inch and spread it out over the land. This has worked. This is my second year in practice on this. I saw some improvements in the pasture last year and our most precious resource on the farm is our manure and our soil. And that's what this is all about, guys. So I'm really making progress here on the farm. No fertilizer has been put on this land for nearly six years simply by buying that hay that you see back there and feeding it to the cows and letting the cows do the fertilizing so instead of spending 25 grand in fertilizer I'm spending ten thousand dollars a year and hey the cows are getting fatter the land is getting richer and my life is better so we're gonna cruise on back through here we've got about one more round to make scattering turds and we'll take a look at it guys you got to see the results that's the proof the proof is in the pudding Winfield drag harrow the bat wing drag harrow allows me to not take this heavy tractor over top of as much land the tractor weighs about 8,500 pounds the drag harrow probably weighs somewhere in the neighborhood of 1,800 to 2,000 pounds and what we've done is take all those manure pads that you saw you can see them in that drone footage right now and we've dispersed them over the land awesome tool for your farm big t the tym t1104 tractor has not let me down and this batwing drag harrow has saved me so much time and it's building the soil on the farm guys i hope you enjoyed seeing a cool tool being put to use here on the stony ridge farm look up i got rain on the windshield man i got just a little bit more to do and i'm going to get out of here thanks a lot for joining me today on the stony ridge farm guys this tool is awesome it's an instrumental part of my regenerative farming operation and even if you are conventionally farming meaning putting fertilizer out on your land you still want to disperse that manure that manure pat is where the cow will not eat next year if you disperse it on the land then they'll eat there awesome see you guys next time have a great day Woo! Come on down to the stone